Hi guys, it's Mr. Farmer. In our last video regarding the jobs after BFARM, few of the subscribers reached out and asked if they can tell me what is the most highly paid department in the pharma sector. If you have not watched the video about the pharma jobs or jobs that you need to know after completion of your BFARM, click on the link in the description or click on the pop-up link shown above. As there are many departments in pharma, it is always a confusion which job to choose or which department to choose as a career because once you choose your department, it is very difficult to change your job. So today we will see which department pays the highest salary, which are the top 10 highest paying pharma jobs. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. This video is for basic understanding and learning purposes only. The content and facts may change time to time basis. So viewers discretion is advised. So before seeing the top 10 highest paying pharma jobs, let us see some facts about Indian pharma. Indian pharmaceutical sector supplies over 50% of the global demand for various vaccines, 40% of the generic demand for US and 25% of all medicines for UK. India contributes the second largest share of pharmaceutical and biotech workforce in the world. In May 2020, pharmaceutical sales grew 9% to $1.47 billion. Indian drugs are exported to more than 200 countries in the world with US being the key market. Indian pharmaceutical sector is expected to grow around $100 billion while the medical device market is expected to grow $25 billion by 2025. India's biotechnology industry is expected to grow at an average rate of 30% and reach $100 billion by 2025. Considering these facts, you will understand that pharma sector is growing rapidly, so you need to choose the pharma career correctly. In simple terms, you can choose a technical job, which is a core pharma job like research and development, clinical research, etc. The other career path is the non-technical jobs, which is market-based jobs such as marketing, finance, etc. Now let's see what are the factors that influence your salary. Number one, the company. Is it a MNC or an Indian based company? Number two, the type of industry. Is it a APA or a drug or a medical device industry? Number three, the experience. Is it for a fresher or is it based on level of experience? Number four, the industry model. Is it a manufacturing unit or a CRO or a service based industry? Number five, the location. Is it a metro city located or is it in the urban? Number six, the more important, how good is your knowledge and how good is your skills? Based on these factors, salary may vary a lot. So consider these factors before choosing your career. Before seeing our top 10 highest paid pharma jobs, here are few honorable mentions that are not on our list as it varies depending on many factors like if you see drug inspector, a government job, a fixed pay that takes time to upgrade, a teaching job which depends on government or private college and depends on the college completely. Third, a pharmacist. Pharmacy job depends on a business locations. So these are all very good jobs but they do not have any measure to analyze the pay grades. So now let's see the top 10 highest paying pharmaceutical job, the highest salary pharma department or a job in 2020. Jobs that were close and didn't make the top 10 highest paying pharma job list are so the medical coding department where the salary ranges from 2.7 lakhs to 3.2 lakhs per year for a fresher and the second is the pharma production department jobs where the salary ranges between 2.5 lakhs to 3.3 lakhs for a fresher based on the size and standard of the company. So in 10th place is the pharma market Fresher salary ranges between 2.5 lakhs to 3.4 lakhs per year depending on the company. In the ninth place, both quality assurance and quality control comes in, in which is having a salary range between 2.7 lakh to 3.3 lakhs for QC fresher and 2.8 lakh to 3.4 lakhs for a QA fresher. In eighth position, we have clinical research department jobs where the fresher gets approximately 2.8 lakhs to 3.4 lakhs per year. In 7th place, we have the pharmacovigilance department in which the fresher gets approximately 2.7 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs per year. Clinical data management comes in the 6th place where the fresher gets a median salary of 2.8 lakhs to 3.6 lakhs based on the companies and the CROs. In 5th position comes the research and development department in which the formulation research development and analytical research and development department provides a fresher salary of 3 to 3.8 lakhs per year. 
A regulatory affairs is called as the white collar job for a reason. It very closely misses the top three list and becomes fourth in the list where the freshers get a salary of 3.4 lakhs to 4.2 lakhs per year. Medical writing is another coal profession which comes at third place where the freshers get an average salary of 3.8 lakhs to 4.7 lakhs. In second place comes the SAS programming jobs which is another coal job where freshers get a salary of 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs per year. Finally, the most awaited top highest paid pharma job is the drug discovery department. It is very less in number in India but highly paid. The average fresher salary is around 4.2 lakhs to 5.5 lakhs and sometimes it is even more than 6.5 lakhs per year based on companies. So guys, choose your department wisely considering all the factors. All the best. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any question, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.